Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, I was going to start at them by asking you how your shoulder's doing, but I saw you swinging a golf club at the uh, hitting bay around the corner, so I, it looks like you're doing okay, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I'm doing good. Um, it, has been, it has been a while um, working with the team, um, my UCLA, the doctors and the trainers. Um, I think they've been giving me a ride. I, I assure you took a good look at that swing. Like. I saw him swing. I, <laughs> his golf. Uh, is don't don't golf? show the doctors the video of you swinging a golf club right now. Yeah, we're going we're to hide that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you heard what Coach said, Lazar, about, about you coming in. Um, has it been a transition being an older guy, being a leader, but also being new? Yeah, it's always when uh, you change the team you play for, it's, uh, there's new things that uh, come with it. So, I mean, it's, uh, it's great to hear what, what Coach said, and uh, it is sure like he does tell me sometimes I need to be more aggressive, and I know it, and I know the team needs it, and uh, I know that uh, my leadership role is going to be huge, huge for us this year, and I, I need to step up uh, in that area and, and help everybody get better. I think one big thing for you, Lazar, is when you get into conference play on the road, yeah, you're new at UCLA, but you're not new to the league. You've been to all those places, and this team – it's got a lot of young guys that have never played in the conference, conference road game. So that leadership will be a big deal once you get into January. Yeah, and then I, I think it, it, it starts now and it, it already had to start before because uh, this period right now that we are in, it's a period that players usually don't like because it's a lot, a lot of practice, hard practices, long practice with no games. But uh, that's, it's the period where you get good enough to win games and have some fun in the season. Adam, how much were you able to do this summer with that, with that shoulder? Like, take us through your summer of what you were able to do, what you worked on, and how you're going to be better this year. Um, I would say I have, like, a long, successful summer, you know. Um, I had to do the rehab. I would say, uh, like, my daily, like, I wake up in the morning, get in with Tyler. Um, get my shoulder right, and I get on the call with Civino. We'll work on my form shooting on my one hand. Um, thankfully, um, the injury was on my left shoulder. I was able to get in the gym a lot, work on my right hand, um, improve on my form. And um, I think the coaches have dipped down a lot, helping me get to where I am right now. And we've, I think we've made a lot of stride. I think one thing that stood out to me about your team last year, Adam, was your improvement throughout the year. You started out, got in a lot of foul trouble early. But you, you clean that up. And not only that, uh, offensively, you seemed, as the season went on, you seemed to be more in the right places to, like, catch and finish, catch and dunk it. So what's the next step for you coming into this year? Obviously, you're a terrific defensive player. Coach mentioned you can guard the rim and, you know, hedge ball screens, show on ball screens, get out there. So what's kind of the next step for you? What are you looking to, to try and improve this year? Um, I would say big thanks to the coaches um, that they helped me through my improvement throughout last year. Um, it was a phase for me, trans um, transitioning from high school to college, um, concerning my foul trouble. Um, it got better towards the end of the year, playing with guys like Hyman and Tiger. Um, they lift off the offensive burden of me. So it was not burden, it's more an offensive, like they did the care of the offense. But this year, we don't have those guys. So um, I think my role, my role is going to have to, it's going to be big time this, this year on the team. Um, I have guys like Laza on the team to support me. He has like guys, young guys like Mara, Barke. Um, so it's, it's, it's going to be a huge step up for me offensively, and I think um, I'm ready to, to take the step. Jesse? Go to Ben on the right in the second row. Uh, ben Balch, Los Angeles Times. Uh, guys, nice to see you. Um, Adem, I know you're not uh, fully cleared yet, but have you done any kind of like walkthrough stuff with a die? And coach says he wants to go two bigs this year. Have you kind of done any preliminary uh, on the court work with him and, and seeing how that would go and how excited are you about that possibility? Yeah, it's, if, if you watch us in practice, you would have seen how, you, you would have seen how excited I am. Um, we've done a lot of walkthrough together. Uh, we've watched a lot of film also together. Um, coach Sivino is our big coach. Um, he's taking us through so many scenarios where we're going to be on the court at the same time. And um, I, I think Ada is a great guy. Um, he can do so much on the on the basketball court, and um, I think me and him on the on the floor at the same time it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing to see, and um, I can't wait to to have that do on the floor at the same time. Lazo, you're grinning listening to a dem talk. What uh, what's going through your mind? Well, yeah, it's uh, I mean I I agree with a lot of things he said, and 
I, um, I agree that Adda is going to help us win a lot of games this year. He can help us win a lot of games, and uh, I can't wait to see two of them matched up at, at practice. But at, more so, I can't wait for them to see them together on the court, how they play together. It's interesting, Adem. You, you're, you're not an overly tall player, but you play like a taller player because of your activity and your effort. The league got big this year. The league is real. I don't know how much you've looked at other teams around the Pac-12, but there's a lot of big teams in our league. So does that become more important for you to be even better defensively, knowing that you got in Folly Dante and Brandon Carl, you got all these guys that are seven feet that can, that can really play? Um, you know what's amazing? The league got big and we got bigger. <laughs> uh, we got we got big guys too. We got Adai, seven three. We got Bad K. We got Yan, six five point guard. Um, I would say we got bigger also, but at the same time, um, I know uh, my activity on the defensive end of the game is gonna be vital, and um, I'm, I'm 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 always ready for the tax. You know, um, I'm ready to step it up when when it's needed. You know, and um, I I know I'm gonna have to um, bring the team along with me to have the same vision with the team we had last year. And um, the vision has never changed. We still have the same vision going for what we want and going all the way in. Do you feel different going from a young guy on the team who had a big role to being, you're only a year older, but you are, in terms of experience, one of the most experienced players now? Um, yeah, it's, it's a huge difference. You know, um, we, had, we had guys like David Seguntin, Tiger, Jaime, these guys really were the leader of the team. They've been there for a while. They know the in and out. And I'm, I, I feel like I'm so blessed and lucky to play with those guys. And I've learned a lot. And, um, and I'm, I feel like I'm ready to carry on the touch from them to be able to pass it down to the young guys on the team right now. Lazar, how much better is it when practice is over walking out of the practice facility than it, than it was in not, – nothing against Salt Lake City, but – Well, well it's, uh, it's a little different when you walk outside. It's always sunny. And uh, it's very warm. You're always in your shorts and uh, T-shirts. It's uh, yeah. Salt Lake is a beautiful place. It is. Uh, I love that place. But um, LA, there's there's reasons why people love California and love Los Angeles, and especially that part where we are around Westwood. It's uh, it, feel, it feels good. Adem, how's coach doing? Uh, coaching all these young guys to play defense. Is it uh, testing him a little bit? You think? Yeah, I, I think um, I think it's a process, you know. Um, I think I kind of went through that process last year. Um, I, I do play a lot of defense, but there's there's a little details like obviously we we spot on my my foul trouble last year. Um, these guys they all they all, they all have like the little um, habits they've developed playing back where they play, you know. But um, I think it's, it's a process. Coach has been on them trying to like get them to play the right way, the way we the winning way. That's what we call it. Um, I think, I think coaches have been doing a pretty good job getting them to play right away. But the, that's your job at them. When they make mistakes, you clean it up, right? Yeah, that's my job. But, <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to try to limit the mistakes so they see that stuff clean it up. <laughs> guys, good luck this year. Great Thank you very much. Yeah, Lazar Stefanovic. Thank you. Adem Bona, the UCLA Bruins.